Can ChatGPT write social media posts? Yes, absolutely. This is one of my daily uses of ChatGPT. It can help me generate captions for Instagram or TikTok, write LinkedIn updates, write tweets, helps me repurpose long form content such as my YouTube video into a newsletter, and then further repurpose my newsletter into short form content for social media platforms. And similar to the process of using ChatGPT for writing an article or essay, when it comes to social media posts, ChatGPT can also help with brainstorming lots of ideas very quickly, brainstorming hooks to capture your audience's attention, writing an outline if you're doing a long form blog post or newsletter or YouTube video, writing initial drafts of the content, changing up the tone and style very rapidly, researching links, articles, and data sources to incorporate in your social media post, proofreading, editing, writing a conclusion, all of this good stuff. And just like with writing essays or articles, the best results come when you refine and edit the output and add your unique value and perspective. I think that's honestly the best way to stand out when other people are going to be using AI generated content that is lower quality without that human element, that human perspective. So now let's try it out. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT you are a social media copywriter. Your tone is friendly and informative. Write a LinkedIn post on the topic. Personal branding is harder than you think. Okay, so first we're asking ChatGPT to write a LinkedIn post, and then we're going to ask it to write a tweet on the same topic. So you can see the different formats it outputs to optimize for each social media platform. So if you're trying to grow on multiple platforms at the same time, like I am, for example, you know that each platform has its own quirks, its own limitations, and what you can write and what resonates on that platform. So I personally have different prompts optimized for each platform. So here's a LinkedIn post, for example, and this is good. I like that it has the list like this and it's really easy to read. Now let's say write, write about the same topic. Output a tweet, okay? So for Twitter, obviously it has a character limit, so it's gonna be much shorter than a LinkedIn post, right? So here ChatGPT wrote a tweet on the same topic. And now let's say we wanna use ChatGPT to repurpose an existing post that we have. So let's take, for example, one of my newsletters, ChatGPT for Beginners Part 1, which includes what is ChatGPT, how do you use it, is it free, how do you upload files, etc. I'm going to open a new conversation here and say, first, read and analyze this. And I'm going to give it the link to my newsletter. Okay, and it's summarizing the newsletter. This is accurate. The newsletter provides a beginner-friendly introduction to ChatGPT and how to start using it. Now I want to say, repurpose the newsletter content into... 10 different social media posts. Output a table with the with the post and intended platform. Oh cool, and ChatGPT asked which response we like better. I honestly like both of them. I'll just choose this first one. And you can see ChatGPT's outputted a table repurposing the newsletter content into different social media posts. And you can make this more specific, right? You can say extract the most controversial or most interesting aspects from the newsletter and make them into social media posts. There are all sorts of things you can do to kind of rephrase this request and tailor it to what you want and tailor it to your brand's voice and style. So for example, let's say extract the most useful pieces of information from the newsletter content and repurpose it into 10 different social media posts. And now we're getting slightly different content from ChatGPT because we're asking it to extract the most useful pieces of information first. So for the second prompt, each post highlights actionable tips and insights from the newsletter, making the information digestible for different social media audiences. Now in this video, we've just been tinkering to show you the process of how to use ChatGPT, but I recommend getting higher quality prompts that are already optimized for each social media platform. So to do that, just navigate to prompts.sabrina.dev and it'll take you to my free prompts library, which is a curation of high quality prompts. And if you don't see a prompt you want, you can always submit a request by clicking this button over here, which takes you to a Google form where you input information about the prompt you're looking for. And then you will be emailed a new prompt pretty quickly in a few minutes. Just remember to check your spam folder. And on the left hand side, if you click the category content creation, Okay, this will pull up the Notion database with all prompts that have the tag content creation. So all kinds of things like creating an academic paper, brainstorming podcast ideas, writing a LinkedIn message, creating social media content, 
write a LinkedIn post, write a post using the famous past copywriting framework, problem, agitate, solution, write a three tips post, write a top mistakes post, write a lessons learned post. So all kinds of good stuff here. And to get the full prompt, you just want to click on this prompt URL right here. And it's going to take you to the full prompt, which you can copy and paste directly into ChatGPT. So to recap in this video, we covered using ChatGPT for social media content creation, and it can help with coming up with ideas like you've seen in past videos, drafting the initial posts, repurposing long form content into short form content, or even taking short form content and expanding it into long form content. You can do that as well. And I highly recommend checking out my free prompts library, prompts.sabrina.dev, so you can hit the ground running with high quality chat GPT prompts already optimized for the various social media platforms. And as a content creator and AI educator, this is my daily use case for chat GPT, and I can confirm and validate from firsthand experience. It's been a huge help and a huge part of my success so far, growing to 300,000 followers in less than six months. So whether you're building a personal brand or looking to expand your organic footprint for your business, highly recommend learning how to leverage ChatGPT for social media content.